Two Gun Kitty, the Catnip Outlaw here, and today we're doing a review of the Smith & Wesson 629 Classic 5 inch. This would be the third 44 Magnum that I have had in possession, so I'll do a comparison of the three as part of the video. This is a heavy handgun. Uh, I don't have the exact weight of it, but it needs to be. It, does a great job handling the 44 Magnum load. You can shoot it as comfortably as you can shoot a 44 Magnum. The, the rubber grips are a necessity. I do like wood grips for the aesthetics, but not practical when dealing with a 44 Mag. The barrel wasn't my first choice. I was looking for a four inch. Uh, it was out of stock and they had the five inch. Uh, I didn't want to go up to a six inch. They've had them off and on. So I uh, yeah, was looking at it. I did like the look of the five and um, pretty pleased with it. It gives you a good sight picture. You know, it has the typical um, Smith & Wesson revolver sights. That front sight has a little red um, marking on it. It's easy to pick up. And very accurate handgun. Um, the trigger, it's, it, the gun is safe, I'm loaded, is double action, very smooth. Very impressed with that double action. The single action of it, very light. as a beautiful single action. You know, you're barely putting any pressure on it. Um, so you can get some very um, accurate shots with that single action pull. I love the stainless steel look, um, the finish on it. It's, you know, very refined. Um, you know, you get that typical Smith & Wesson quality. Six shots. You know, everything kind of is locked up nice and tight. Um, just feels good in the hand. Um, I like a heavy handgun, I've said that numerous times, and this fits the bill. And it is made to shoot 44 Magnum. Um, Smith & Wesson makes a slightly less expensive model 69. Uh, and it's, to me, not heavy enough to shoot you know, the round comfortably. You can do it, but this is much better. You know, you're better off spending a little more if that's the case. Other 44 Magnums that I've had was a first one was a Taurus M44. It is very comparable to the model 629. Um, that was a four inch version. And value wise, it's a great value. Uh, it's pro you know, a little more than half of what a 629 would cost. So if you're looking for one but you can't, Put the bill, you know, put the bill for six twenty nine. That Taurus is a great option. Uh, the biggest difference is going to be that has a, a matte finish, where this has got the the sh uh, shiny stainless finish. The triggers, no comparison. Um, the double action on that Taurus is very stiff, um, and you know, single action was okay. But the, the trigger on the Smith & Wesson is far superior. You know, and you're just going to have a more aesthetically pleasing gun with the Smith & Wesson. Um, the Taurus did have, a, I think, a ported barrel, uh, which was a nice feature for, you know, the price. And both, you know, guns shot pretty accurate. And, you know, was fairly pleased with the Taurus, but I've always wanted the 629. Well... I did a review previously of the Smith & Wesson Model 329 PD and I need to revise that and I'm going to do that here now. Worst handgun I've ever purchased. It's not made to handle the 4, the 4 Magnum round. It's just way too light. You can get away with maybe 6 rounds Anything over that, you do not want to handle that gun. It is abusive. It will tear your hand up. Uh, it just is a painful gun to shoot. 
anyone recommends the the 329 to you, punch them in the mouth because that's what that gun is going to do to you. It, that gun is not made to be shot more than a couple of a rounds at a time. It is a gun you're going to carry only if you're out on a in the wilderness and you know it's you need something that's lightweight and powerful it'll fit that bill but you're not going to want to shoot it at the range you know the first time i shot it i did six rounds it was tough but you know it was manageable the second time i did it it was a little tougher getting through those first six rounds and you know i gave up after i think i put 25 rounds in it and said I'm done with this gun. It, it just, anything, like I say, over six rounds, the gun just starts abusing you. It's painful. You start flinching. You know, it. it's an ordeal. And, um, you know, it's a gun you give someone you don't like and say, hey, try this at the range. Uh, I do not recommend that. This is the gun if you want to shoot 44 Magnum. You know, get the... You go with the 629, not the 329 PD. I, when I even traded that gun in, I, I took a little loss on it because I wasn't going to deal with trying to sell it. I did it as a trade in, and the people at Shields know that gun, and they would not test fire it. No, no, no yeah, none of them were willing to, <laughs> you know, put themselves through the the pain of test firing that gun. So, how do I rate this? Um, you know, on a scale of five, it's it's a solid four to four and a half inches. Um, okay, inches. It's a, a four to four and a half star gun. Uh, you know, it shoots great. It does its job. Um, it's not going to be something you want to shoot a lot of at the range, but it's something you're going to want to pull out and uh, give it a you know, a run every once in a while. Uh, I'm going to start reloading 44 Magnum, so hopefully I'll shoot it a little bit more. But I, I'm very pleased with it. I've wanted a 629. I finally um, got it. Uh, yeah, I just love the look. It's like, you know, the 686 and the 629. I just love the look and feel of them. And uh, so this is a nice addition to the cl uh, collection. So... You know, if you're in the market for a 44 Magnum, definitely don't um, settle for anything less unless you absolutely have to. Two Guns Kitty, signing off.